Battery. The common battery is a device that changes chemical energy to electrical energy. The most commonly used type of primary is the zinc or carbon battery or dry cell which were invented in the 1860s by French engineer Georges Leclanc. This type of battery is the standard battery for use in equipment such as flashlights, toys and radios. It consists of an outer case made of zinc which is the anode, a carbon rod which is the cathode in the center of the cell and the space between carbon rod and the zinc contains a paste of ammonium chloride and zinc chloride. The cathode is a mixture of manganese dioxide and carbon powder. Electricity is the flow of electrons through a circuit or conductive path like a wire. The cathode and anode are hooked up to an electrical circuit. The chemical reaction in the battery causes a buildup of electrons at the anode. This results in an electrical difference between the anode and the cathode. The electron wants to rearrange them to get rid of this difference. But they do this in a certain way. Electrons repel each other and try to go to a place with fewer electrons. In a battery, the only place to go is to the cathode. But the electrolyte keeps the electrons from going straight from the anode to the cathode within the battery. When a wire connects the cathode and the anode, the electrons will be able to get to the cathode lighting the light bulb along the way. This one way of describing how electrical potential causes electrons to flow through the circuit. However, these electrochemical processes change the chemicals in anode and cathode to make them stop supplying electrons. So, there is a limited amount of power available in a battery. When a battery is recharged, the direction of the flow of electrons is changed. The electrochemical processes happen in reverse and the anode and cathode are restored to the original state and can again provide full power.